Okay, so introduction to this video, I am just going to predict BT characters. Ever since the debut of Garnet in Global and Luna Freya being an outlier in the burst criteria, I think it's time for me to make a top 8 list of predicting who are potential burst character units in the game. So, aside from the honorable mention that I am going to state on this video, most of these people in the list are not representatives in any Dissidia game, except for one, and that's why I put it in the honorable, honorable mention. But I think they have strong chances to become a burst character. So yeah, Garnet is technically the first non decidia non-protagonist, antagonist to get a burst weapon in the game. I would count Luna Freya as a main protagonist. No, I don't think she's a protagonist in the novel. I think she's an antagonist. Main character in the book. But that's a little bit stretching it. So you can count Luna Freya as an outlier in the criteria. But nevertheless, if they, if Square is going to stop at the Sidja characters, then the pool of burst weapons will be limited. So they have to introduce new prioritizations. And I think the following in this list have a strong case to be a burst character in the game. So without further ado, let me share my list. I hope for so, for, to get your opinion on this. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So my number 8 in the entry is Sarah Farron. Sarah is featured in the login menu of protagonist antagonist in the Sidja Final Fantasy of her Omnia starting from the third login. So the first login is just the title, right? Then the second login is the Dissidia representatives. And then the third login screen is what? The a smorgasbord of protagonists and antagonists, including the spin ups. And the fourth login screen is just Garland and Wire of Light. And yeah, and I'm, I and in the final, the fifth anniversary one, it featured Sarah as one of the headliners there. And do in mind that the current FF132 burst unit is null. So maybe they are saving Sarah for a future burst phase cycle, maybe. But if you notice, null is not in the login screen, it is Sarah. So there are plans for Sarah to be as a burst unit if history serves it right so yeah number eight is sarah number seven is good old debt dealer himself seymour guado so the debate between jack seymour who is the ff10 antagonist well jack got his burst and seymour's got a very good ld but i believe that ever since the Burst criteria has been loosened and Seymour is technically playing the antagonist role up to Act 3 for FF10's behalf. Because I don't want to spoil Act 3, okay? I think Seymour is likely to get a burst in the future. Uh, he can have Anima has his burst final attack. Technically, yeah, Anima is the only thing left in his kit that hasn't been integrated into the game. And with the inclusion of final boss forms, I think the devs have gonna be no problem in dealing in Seymour summoning Anima. Or maybe if how Anima pulls the enemy underground for that combo. But it's their take. And they've technically got out of situations where they need they use summon attacks without the actual summon itself so maybe seymour can they can do the same thing with seymour it's just i'm just disappointed anima is not gonna be there but it's gonna be two ways they either animate anima or not animate anima 
So yeah, see more number seven. For my number six and number five, they can be interchangeable, but they are both FF8 representatives. And I'm going to highlight this as a rival criteria for burst characters. So we got like who were the rivals currently that were that have been given a burst. So Kane is a rival, but he did appear in the Sidia games, but Kane has a strong case why he appeared in the Sidia games because he's like the secondary protagonist antagonist. He's like a rival character. So that's why he made it into the Sidia because of that. And I think firmly believe that if we are going to consider a rival category, I think Cypher is going to be considered as a verse. What would be his verse? Finisher? I don't know. Maybe I've been wanting reverse Zantetsuken in the game since his e since ever since before his EX debuted. I also want they invented Purge out of nowhere just for just for him to have an LD ability. Perhaps they are they are saving Zantetsuken reverse as a burst finisher, or they might just invent another one. Either way, I want a Cypher Burst. He... Uh, imagine him during his burst phase, he's just gonna delay the enemy. Yeah, that would be very, very nice. Right, nice burst effect. I, I mean, come on, debuff. Debuff or burst. Oh, I, I don't know what would go wrong with uh, Cypher Burst. Okay, at number 5... It's our first new character that I'm going to likely predict. It's the first new character in this list. There's another new character this in this list that I want to have a verse. And this character is Edea. Edea is... I want Edea to be different from Ultimacia. So everyone is speculating uh, Edea is an out for Ultimacia. I, th I think that would serve as disservice to the character of Edea and what else is Edea can have the best verse music that I can possibly ask for give us Liber of Vitali I mean we haven't seen Renoa's verse in Japan maybe she'll get Liber of Vitali as a verse music but even Fitos the hard version of Liber of Vitali you know Fitos dun dun Lusek, dun, dun, Fita, dun, like that. I forgot the title. I just know it as Succession of the Witches, I think. But that's the very, okay, such Succession of the Witches, but that's Fita's, Vios, Binosek, inter, a palindrome of that lyrics. Anyway, that is my take on Idea. As a character, she's Ice Element. We, she can be the FF8 Ice character. She can she can have an EX Ice Spike. But I think Square has to be creative with her kit. Because the only unique thing about Idea in the game. In, in the game itself FF8 is Ice Spike. So they have to come up with something to complete her kit. What number are we? Number 4 we have Thunder God Sid or La Sidolpus Orlando. So, I've been also one of the advocates of tactics characters. Not just I just don't promote it heavily because I think every Final Fantasy game deserves a time to shine. Opera Omnia did a great job on that with the inclusion of the Crystal Chronicles franchise in the game, giving each protagonist a burst. But I think another tactics representation is sorely needed after Agrias has been out for like four years if we're counting Japan timeline and I think Sidolpus Orlando TGC fits the mold of being a burst character well you can also argue the same for Delita but he's an antagonist where Counting in her, not the main antagonist or not the main protagonist. We're counting her rivals, potential powerful characters like that. And 
another criteria that I'm going to introduce later. So, Orlando being in the standard that he is as powerful as he can be in the gaming community, I think it's proper for him to get a burst weapon when he comes out in the game. I don't know when he will come out, but if he's gonna come out, I predict he's a burst unit. As for his kit, it's going to be very, very interesting because Agrias has mostly the on the Holy Knight kit. Ramza has his Excalibur sword, so the devs have also going to be created. They, perhaps they're going to borrow Orlando's moves from War of the Visions if they want to have a baseline. Coming in at number 3. Is from Final Fantasy 2 Leonhart. So Leonhart or Leon for short is the rival to Furion for his, in the same way in the same vein as Cypher to Squall and especially Kane to Cecile. So with those considerations, I am consi I am predicting Leon is going to potentially be a burst character in the game. I his kit checks out currently. He has many AOE abilities. But the thing is, he what... I never heard about Leon C90, how good it is in damage voice. But I think his kit could perfectly work in a burst rotation. He has the traps. They could give him an extra trap. He can do extra elemental damage with his burst effect. And the precarious stat bump when the, his when a burst effect is on. So, in the criteria sense, uh, Leon is likely on my criteria. I don't know what Squirt's criteria is, but if I'm going to consider rivals getting burst weapons, then Leon is one of them. Now we go into our honorable mentions. So honorable mention number one, Xenos. I've said that this list wouldn't contain any Dissidia characters that were in, in the fighting games. But but yeah, I think it, it takes it took a long time for Xenos to be in Opera Omnia. I'm just wanting to be him so M14 can have a proper representation in the villain side. It could be Emmet Silk. Can it? Yeah, it could be a Met Silk. But come on, keep the spirit of Decidia fighting games alive. I think Xenos fits the mold. Please stop holding him back. Maybe, I don't know. Another female lead that I can think of, Maria from FF2. So if Maria will have a burst, Emperor has a burst, Fearin has a burst, Leon potentially, if my list is correct, is going to have a burst, then Guy. Poor guy, he's not gonna get a burst, but that's okay. He's gonna be with Layla, probably with Gordon, Joseph, and Minwu. But in terms of leading female protagonist, I think Maria by a by a by, by technicality is the female protagonist of FF2. She can have a burst and yeah. We'll see. I like how open the protagonism is in Final Fantasy XII, but if we are going to give another FF12 unit a burst weapon, uh, we probably give it to Birdman Liud for Revenant Wings. We can probably give Fel Thanos from Rev Revenant Wings an entry into the game, thus having also a burst, but I feel that we need to look around the the what the star of the show technically in FF12 which is Ashelia so i feel Ashelia Banagan Dalmasca can have a burst weapon in Upper Omnia i mean she also checks in with the Disney princesses gowns Yuna has a gown Garnet has a gown Renoa technically is wearing a gown on her party dress. Ash has her queen's garb. 
yeah. I can see Ash as a burst unit in the future. Gak. That's it. Uh, I heard he's sick, so maybe Square can add him in the game under his nose. But yeah, Gak. Also, yeah, Akiros. Come on, Square. How much would I pay you to put Aki in the game? I'm waiting. I got spirits within in my computer ready in case you decide to release her in Upper Omnia. Come on, it's not that hard. You just gotta be a little bit creative in making her kit. Make spirits within great again. Number one on my list for characters potentially in the future in my prediction that I want to see have a burst weapon is Rosa. Rosa, complete the family. Rosa, Theodore, Cecil. Rosa is the main female protagonist, main female protagonist of FF4. I guess. Maybe Rydia. No, no, no. Keep, complete the family. It's Rosa. So, she can have a burst team, team of love. I think she fits the mold. She also has a gown. Even though that's her original sprite work, she's already wearing a gown. She's a queen. I mean, what could go wrong with a Rosa burst weapon? It makes this uh, seemingly good or about better. You're gonna put a chainsaw on already good chainsaw. So, yeah. Unleash that white mage power. With the burst of Rosa. So yeah. So that is my list. That's our list. Let me know what you think. You have anything in mind. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's end it on a high note. Rosa. Number one pick. My num One of my number one predictions on having a burst. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.